We'll stop with conservativereport.org. Well, this is interesting. In Mississippi, if you haven't followed this guy, and he's on radio, his name is Paul Gallo, the Paul Gallo Show, Super Talk Mississippi. Everybody in Mississippi knows who he is. And he decided to uh, take a hit at Chuck Johnson, Rick Shafton, and me, of all people. Let's take a listen to what... uh, he had to say. And I don't even know this guy. I know that I got some emails from the guy, Rick Shafton, Shafte, Shaftane. What I, I I saw his picture over the weekend, and I mentioned that this Shafton guy, Shaftanus, or whatever the guy's name is, it, it, it looks a little bit like Seinfeld's Newman with a bad hair day. He was just a short, pudgy guy who has loser written all over him. As a matter of fact, when you Google the guy's name up, because... It, there were a couple of things. When you had time over the weekend, you you spend time on the on the iPad, wandering around. I I, I watched or heard a it was a YouTube video, but it was only a, a replay of a of a, a radio show. I thought, how weird is this? When you look at this past election, it was the amount of money that came in here, millions upon millions of dollars, the influence from outside forces, and it still goes on. I'm listening to this interview, and I'm thinking, okay, this interview must be dated five or six uh, weeks ago, maybe three or four months ago. And it was a recent posting where a radio show talk show host in Georgia is interviewing this Chucky Sleaze guy in California, and the main topic is um, uh, tearing down uh, the Republicans in the state of Mississippi as far as the establishment and Thad Cochran. I thought... There's no way on God's green earth that I'm going to be doing an interview this long, this much, uh, on an Oregon race. What is it? What's going on here? Then you look at the amount of money, 80-something percent, from the McDaniels force that came from unknown sources are out. And the Shafton guy, um, over and over and over, his, his whole mission statement is centered on the state of Mississippi. And then you uh, here's the here's a guy who was a Republican strategist. He was fired after profane rant questioning Cory Booker's sexuality. Says he tweets like a gay guy and apparently said some other things. And he was kicked out. And Shafton himself has a tweet saying, "I shouldn't be talking or an interview." A chief aide to Mr. Lonigan said in an interview with the Wall Street Journal, uh, "After this, I shouldn't be talking anymore." And now he shows up in the state of Mississippi. Who are these people? All right, there you go. Paul Gallo, Super Talk Mississippi, does a morning show there. couple of things about what he had to say. First off, this is the first time I've really heard him. I've caught little bits and pieces from different things that he's done. I think I saw a Chris McDaniel interview. But one of the biggest things I noticed from Paul Gallo is his delivery Hi, everybody. This is Paul Gal, Super Talk Mississippi. It's 25 minutes past 8 o'clock, and it's sunshine out there. going to be 90 today. Okay, what he is is a puker. Pukers are basically carnival barkers when it comes to your radio program directors here in the 21st century. This guy couldn't get a job anywhere in talk radio except where he's at right now because he's pretty much a tool for Thad Cochran and Haley Barber. And Haley Barber pretty much runs that state. And he's there because of him. He could not get a job anywhere. And if you talk to any program director who's worth their salt, whether that's in music or news talk, they would label him, that guy is a carnival barker. Back in the 60s, maybe 50s, Everybody on radio sounded just like him, and it's old school, and it sounds like crap. Hi, everybody. Hey, we got the top 40 hits here on Bitchin' Oldies, 95.5. So that's where he comes from. And I get the sense, too, just listening to his show, that he's very much a I miss in the morning wannabe. There's a lot of people in radio that they have no identity uh, for themselves, that they can't be their own person. So they, they try to... Um, become somebody else or try to be or kind of shoot for somebody else's status because they're not comfortable in their own skin. And I think that's very apparent. Anybody who knows Paul Gallo, and I'm just kind of uh, 
surmising this here, but I've seen this before. People who are not confident on the air with who they are, they try to be somebody else. And I think that's very apparent with him. And this whole Carnival Barker, hi, everybody, this is Paul Gallo. He doesn't even sound like it's his real voice. So, and, and maybe he's trained himself so much that when he's off the air, he actually normally talks like that. I mean, did, did he, who in the world talks like that? I mean, it's like being on the radio, and then I come home to my wife. Hi, darling, is dinner ready here? My name is Paul Gallo. Hi, baby. I'm home. Where are the kids? Let me give them a call and see how they're doing in college. Hi. How are you, Johnny? Do you need another check coming your way here? Paul Gallo, 25 minutes past the hour. Plenty of sunshine today here on Super Talk Mississippi, and we have more information coming up. I mean, it's it's all this contrived, weird sound here uh, when it comes to this. And uh, so there he goes, uh, tra- trashing Rick Shafton. Now, it's interesting that he, the first thing he goes for in this whole bite is Rick Shafton's appearance. Rick Shafton looks like a normal guy, an everyday guy. He's a great consultant. He's been around for 20, 30 years. He's respected um, in the consultant community, especially conservative consultants. He had a very nasty race in New Jersey there um, with Cory Booker and Steve Lonigan. And who cares what happened there? I mean, it's it's old. It's history. It's gone. And, uh, you know, what, are you going to take Cory Booker's word for it, of all people? Somebody like him? So in, in the left-wing press that he's spouting off there. But the big thing that he focused on was his appearance which should tell you a lot about the person. And here's the funny thing. Have you seen pictures of Paul Gallo? Uh, Usually he hides behind this little cartoon of himself. And that's who he puts out there, a little painting that you see on his website. You can't find any pictures anyway, which means he's very self-conscious. So, you know, you look at pictures of Paul Gallo, and he has one of these things here because he is a radio personality, and because I am here on the big Super Talk Mississippi, the women love me, and they love that comb-over I have. Yeah, he's got an amazing comb-over. You should see it. It starts right around where his sideburn is, goes all the way to the other, like a little helmet on there. And he's got glasses that look like they went out of style back in the 80s. You know, those big square glasses there that, that you, you'd almost think that he's, he's putting those on to do some welding uh, or something. So, and, and he's bald, too. So for all people <laughs> to trash the character of somebody else by making fun of the way they look... Uh, he's one to talk, but see, I can talk like that because, you know, women love me. I mean, the reason why I have a cartoon, Paul Gallo, Super Talk, Mississippi, 25 past the hour, 93 degrees right now. We're getting up to 105 for the heat index today. Paul Gallo, the reason why that I have the, uh, I don't put pictures up there on the website is because the women would go nuts Absolutely nuts, because I am the babe magnet, because I am Paul Gallo, Super Talk Mississippi. Any convention that you go to, any convention worth, worth its salt, whether it's music, whether it's news talk radio, this guy could not get a job anywhere except where he's at right now, because he is a carnival barker. He is he, he has a delivery that make, has his nails down a chalkboard, but he gets away with it because he's in freaking Mississippi. And he's a tool of Haley Barber, pretty much. And, you know, listening to his show, he really doesn't... He, he, what he does is he just throws mud. He doesn't talk about anything of substance at all. So anything that Chuck Johnson has reported, anything that Rick Shafton has reported, he doesn't go near. And now, now we'll get to me here. It's funny... <laughs> it's funny that he brings up this YouTube video. I, I think I put this YouTube video together with, with um, uh, Chuck. I think it was on the eve of the election. Uh, the runoff election, and and we, we we talked for a little bit, and I decided to you know really get this going on on YouTube here and, and on Twitter, and I was gonna I was pretty much basically thinking of taking it down after the election. I thought that uh, I, I thought that Chris McDaniel was going to win the thing, but when I found out it was t- it was stolen from him, I decided you know what this is great opposition research. I'm going to leave it up here, and what has happened? It has gone from about two or three hundred. Uh, hits on YouTube to 1,500, and now it's at 2,500, and it's getting closer to 3,000. And there's more comments on this every single day. People, are, so so it is, it is uh, it, there. There is some there, there is some friction there, and I don't think Paul Gallo would have brought it up um, if there wasn't enough content there that's damning for 
for Thad Cochran. We talked about uh, a number of things that we're not talking about necessarily right now. Uh, we're talking about his mistress. We're talking about uh, his uh, Thad, Thad Cochran's daughter, who hates Jesus and has made it very clear that she hates Christians. Um, and we're talking a whole bunch of other different things that are, are involved in this campaign and that are put together. And people are still interested in it. People are still clicking on this YouTube video. People are learning about it for the first time. But because Paul Gowell, he is a radio professional, I would never post anything like that because I came up with the news five past the hour, 93 degrees here in Mississippi on Super Talk Mississippi. And I am a radio professional. I know when to when to start that record and I go all the way up to the post. And I've, I've done it, hit right at the post. I've done Stairway to Heaven, play that whole song, that whole introduction there with the flutes and everything, and bam, and I'll talk right up to that post without a hitch because I am a radio professional. The carnival barker, the puker, is what he is. Paul the puker gallo is exactly who he is. And and he doesn't understand, okay, the Internet. He really doesn't. I think this is new to him. I, I think he, he's old school. He's an old fart who, who, who thinks that he's, he's doing an excellent job with his delivery that, that has this wannabe fixation uh, of Don Imus. He thinks he's having a Don Imus moment here because he's probably seen him on TV, on Fox News, and before that he was on MSNBC, and he thinks he's, just, he, he thinks he's the big shit in Mississippi, and he's just a little tinky turd. When it comes down to it, when, when, you, when, you, when you take him out of, uh, of him and you compare him with people on a national level, he is nobody. He is lower than dirt. And he knows it, too. That's the thing. He knows it, too. So I can't believe that YouTube video was two or three weeks, five weeks old. I would have never done that because I'm a radio professional. And I am Paul Gallo, Super Talk Mississippi, the big radio guy. And I, top 42, doesn't matter. So he's an old top 40 DJ or whoever, wherever he came from. And he doesn't amount to Jack Squad. And he's a small man. He is a small turd. He's not the big shit. He's a small turd in Mississippi. And that's what you've got to remember. He's nobody. 